as an electrical engineer the knowledge of active reactive and apparent power is must but most of the time we end up with confusion in all these three parts so if you want to have the basics of active reactive and apparent power crystal clear i would recommend you to watch the video so with the basics of active reactive and apparent power we are also going to have a brief interaction with what is power factor at the end of this video so if you want to have this keep watching so where do you need this topic actually it is a must have topic for every electrical engineer but if we want to take out some specific field it would be maintenance engineer in energy management team if you are working with an energy management team then you will need this topic energy auditor or energy manager exams so if you are planning to appear for energy auditor and energy manager exams you will need this topic any competitive exam will have this topic because this is the base this is the basic thing an electrical engineer should know and in technical interview so these are the few fields Uh, in which you will need this topic and you will need to have uh, the knowledge of this topic clear so we will be focusing on what an industry expect from an electrical engineer in this video so i would request you to watch this video with full of concentration if you are also studying the power quality then you will need this topic because it directly related to the uh, quantities of this power in the power system so if you are if you are interested in what is power quality then this topic will help you to understand the power quality more easily so before getting started with the content first understand that the concept of active reactive and apparent power it it is only in the ac circuits it is not at all in case of dc circuit because the sinusoidal waveform it comes only in case of ac circuit and not in case of dc circuit okay so let's get started with the content first to understand all the three powers we need to understand what is instantaneous power okay so we will get to that and we will understand what is instantaneous power so to understand what is instantaneous power consider this example here we have a 230 volt ac supply uh, which we have connected to the 2 ohm a uh, resistor uh, through this toggle switch and here are the voltage and current probe to measure the current and voltage flowing through this system now we will see when we start this here let me close the switch here here we have closed the switch here you can see uh, the current is showing negative sign then a positive peak and the zero this is because we have applied a ac supply to this and in case of ac supply we have positive peak we have zero value and we have negative peak right that is the sine wave so let's say now i want to measure uh, the power of this circuit at this instant right so how do i do that i will simply take this current and i will multiply it with the voltage so whatever it will give me that is my power flowing through this circuit at this particular instant and that is why it is called as instantaneous power clear why instantaneous because we measured that power at a particular instant and that is why it is called as instantaneous power right this instantaneous power can be positive or it can be negative now you may ask a question what is positive power or what is negative power power is a power right but yes there is a concept of positive power and negative power so what is that we will see it so let us say if your power is flowing from source to the load source is our uh, supply or generator and load is something that we uh, connected uh, across this source so if your power is flowing through source to the load which is the normal case it is called as positive power right but there could be a situation where power can flow through load to the source 
and in this case we call this power as negative power right but the question is in which case power flows to the load to the source well we are going to see that in next few minutes so to get that keep watching to understand what is active power consider this example in which we have connected a ac source to the resistor now to understand what will happen in this case consider this waveforms in case of resistive circuit voltage and current are in phase which means both the quantities that is voltage and current will reach their positive peak zero value and negative peak at the same time so now let's say i want to calculate instantaneous power at this instant so i will multiply positive current with positive voltage so of course it will give me a positive power now if i measure instantaneous power at this instant i will multiply negative current with negative voltage and negative multiplied by negative will give me again a positive power similarly you can calculate power at any instant and you will get only positive power so we can conclude that in case of resistive circuit power remains positive at every instant and this kind of power is called as active power now let's see what are the properties of active power it remains positive always it does not changes its direction that means it only remains in the positive side it will never goes to the negative side power flow is always from source to load it is denoted by letter p and measured in watts to understand reactive power we will simply replace our resistor with capacitor so to understand what will happen in this circuit consider these waveforms see how waveform is distorted just with the addition of capacitor here we can see current has a head start than voltage or simply current is leading the voltage in case of capacitive circuit now if i want to measure the power at this instant it will give me a positive power as both the quantities are positive but if i measure the instantaneous power at this instant it will give me negative power as voltage is positive and current is negative but what does this negative power indicate it indicates that power is flowing through load to the source again if you measure the power at this instant it will give you a positive power as both voltage and current are negative and this will continue so on so basically this kind of power is going forward and coming backward like a pendulum without doing any useful work in system and this kind of power is known as reactive power it can be introduced in the circuit by capacitor inductor or any non linear devices now why we get a negative power or why power flows through load to source what is the reason behind this we will see that when the power is in positive cycle the capacitor stores energy in it and when power goes into the negative cycle the capacitor releases whatever energy stored in that and that's why we get a negative power or simply the power flows through load to the source by the way if you want to have details about why current leads voltage in capacitor and why current lags voltage in inductor you can watch my videos on that you will find the links for that down in the description now let's see what are the properties of reactive power it is positive as well as negative it is not used for useful work it only represent the power which goes back and forth without doing any useful work it is denoted by letter q and measured in var that is volt ampere reactive caused by non linear devices like capacitor inductor etc now let's see what are the difference or what are the similarities uh, between active and reactive power 
one cannot be converted into other they are treated as a separate quantities both are separate quantity remember that both place a burden on the transmission line whether it is active power or reactive power it is going to be uh, you know considered as a burden on the transmission line active power produce heat mechanical power light etc reactive power only represent power that oscillates back and forth and which is not used in the power system for any kind of useful work now let's see about what is apparent power now in the system there can be a situation where you will find there is a resistor and there is a inductor or there is a resistive circuit or inductive circuit or capacitive circuit or the combination of both now in this case your resistive circuit will take its own current that is ir and your inductive circuit will take its own current that is il now your resistor resistive circuit is consuming active power right and your inductive circuit will consume reactive power so to combine this we need some different nomenclature so that it will be separate quantity and this type of quantity or this type of combination of both the power is represented by the name apparent power which is denoted by letter s and it is given by s square is equals to p square plus q square that is active power plus reactive power so simply if we want to define what is apparent power we would define it like this apparent power is the combination of active power and reactive power and it is measured in volt ampere simply va or kva kilo volt ampere or mva you will find the rating of transformer uh, which is generally denoted by the apparent power that is in kva or mva now let's see about power factor i'm introducing about power factor here because this is very closely related to the active reactive and apparent power so let's see what is power factor now if you ask any electrical student what is power factor he may tell you power factor is the angle between voltage and current well the definition may be true but it is not the proper way to define power factor i would recommend you to drop this definition if you are using it so the proper definition is power factor is the ratio of active power to the apparent power and it is given by pf that is power factor is equals to active power divided by the apparent power now question is what does power factor indicate so simply consider if somebody says my system has power factor of 0.8 so what does this mean this simply means uh, out of 100% my system is consuming 80% of active power and remaining 20% is my reactive power simple clear this is the significance of active uh, sorry power factor and which denotes uh, the total amount of active power present in your system now we will summarize what we have seen up till now instantaneous power is the power which we calculate at any particular instant it can be positive or negative the power which always remains positive is called as active power it never changes its direction the power which only oscillates back and forth without being used up is called as a reactive power apparent power is the combination of active power and reactive power which is given by s square is equals to p square plus q square and power factor is the ratio of active power by apparent power so i hope this will clear the concept of active reactive and apparent power and you can also find more electrical stuff on my website that is www.theelectricalguy.in if you have any topic suggestion you can mention that below in the comments so guys that's all for this video thank you for watching keep watching keep learning